Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be updating my frame generation guide for Alan Wake 2. We'll show you how to use DLSS for upscaler in conjunction with XCSS or FSR frame gen. With the former, XCSS low latency mode will work and with the latter, Reflex will work. These technologies help in cutting down the latency. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. We'll be using the mod's latest preview 5 version 0.9 build that fixes the head flickering issue caused by XCSS frame gen in this game. Even FSR frame generation works very nicely but it produces some noticeable ghosting around a character model during fast visual motion. In the older versions of the game, disabling the in-game lens distortion setting used to fix this ghosting issue but this does not work with the latest version of the game. I'll be testing the Epic Games version of Alan Wake 2. It's very important to block Epic Games overlay otherwise the game will simply crash at startup when using DLSSG via Streamline as the frame generation source for enabling XCFG or FSIFG. This can be done via OptiScaler mod. This game supports DLSS frame generation and Streamline version 2.7. So DLSSG via Streamline as the frame generation source will work just fine. We won't be required to deal with hotfix. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. This guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. OptiScaler mod build version 0.9 preview 5 is available on OptiScaler's Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description of the video. Just click on the dot .7c link here. The game comes with an older version of DLSS for OptiScaler and DLSS auto exposure setting is disabled by default. So I'll manually update the OptiScaler to the latest version. We'll be enabling DLSS auto exposure setting via OptiScaler mod. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects in the game. Download the latest version of the upscaler from Tech Power of website. This is the latest version at the time of recording this video 310.4.0 download. Click on any of these servers, the download will start. I'll verify the upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. We'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Amos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as Ole. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with. Notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Click on save. Close. Select the file. Right click. Open. Yes. OK. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open the mods archive file. Select the highlighted files. OptiScaler.ini. Mods configuration file. OptiScaler.tll mod loader file lib xcss underscore fg.tll xcss frame generation file dx11 version of xcss super resolution not required lib xcss.tll xcss super resolution file for dx12 and vulkan apis lib xcll.tll xcss low latency mode file fake nv api.ini fake nv api.tll fake nv api replaces the in game reflex implementation with xcss low latency mode I am not using Nukem 9's mod. Vulcan version of FidelityFX not required. Select all of the DX12 versions of FidelityFX files. 10 files selected. Right click, copy. Open Epic Games. Go to your library. Click on the three dots below the games box art. Click on manage. Click on the folder icon next to installation. Paste everything here. Now we just need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. There's the file selected, right click, rename, type dxgi. Now open optiscaler.ini file. Scroll down until you find the hotfix section. There it is. You just need to set disable overlays to true. This will block Epic Games overlay. Click on file, click on save, close. Now I'll update the in-game DLSS subscaler. Just open DLSS subscaler's archive file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this DLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. Open the game's install directory. Replace the existing file. Show you its version. Highlight the file. Its version 310.1.0.0. Paste. Replace. Now check the version. 310.4.0.0. Enabling hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using 
XCFG but if you have an RTX GPU it's recommended to enable this setting right click anywhere on the desktop click on display settings click on graphics click on advanced graphics settings check the setting hardware accelerated GPU chat link if your monitor supports VR enable the setting as well now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel click on manage 3D settings click on program settings from this drop down bar select Alan Wake 2 scroll down to the end enable vSync from here on apply my monitor is G-Sync compatible I'll enable the corresponding settings for it click on setup G-Sync and enable the following settings enable G-Sync G-Sync compatible enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator click on display here check the setting G-Sync compatible indicator we'll be using RTSS and afterburner to show you the performance stats just open RTSS click on setup here scroll down to the end make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject nvidia reflex latency marker settings are disabled and just enable use microsoft d2's api hooking setting we ready to run the game in game settings display mode set to borderless required for using xcfg resolution full hd using dlss upscalers quality preset legacy mode disabled cnn model we think it's off motion blur film grain lens distortion settings disabled very important i am using the game's medium preset it's very demanding on the gpu ray tracing is off without ray tracing in game shadows are not rendered properly that's it playing as alan i am in the dark place check out the dlss debug overlay in the bottom left corner render preset used is k version of the upscaler 310.4.0 base resolution 720p upscale to full hd resolution tlss auto explorer setting is off just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key check this setting auto exposure under init flag section this will enable tlss auto exposure setting it's already the transformer model of tlss 4 so we don't need to change the render preset override setting from OptiScaler frame generation disabled for the time being I'll just enable OptiScaler's performance overlay expand FPS overlay section check this setting FPS overlay enable full plus graph scale 1.3 DXJS spoofing is off input in game TLSS upscaler version of TLSS upscaler save and I close here we are getting around 60 FPS ignite my flare just observe Alan's shadow yeah it's flickering so do not attribute this artifact to frame generation these shadows they are hostile entities can attack me at any time I'll just enable ray tracing this will fix the broken shadows but it will tank the performance my GPU just can't handle it preset set to low ignite my flare Yeah, now the shadow is not flickering it's of low quality and i'm using the low preset of ray tracing look at that fps value 29 oh my god my poor gpu it's six years old now <laughs> can't handle alan wake 2 with ray tracing and this is the game running oh my god this is the game running with medium preset okay now i'll show you how to enable xcss frame gen using optiscalar mod just open optiscalar mod menu click on the drop down bar next to FG source select DLSS GUI streamline as the option click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option save and I close I'll just disable ray tracing we start the game launch yeah the game did not crash just make sure DLSS frame generation setting is enabled from the in game settings DLSS frame generation setting set to two times upscaler TLSS once the game loads up just open OptiScaler menu and check the setting active under frame generation XCFG this will enable XCFG frame time graph will become thick like this show you XCFG debug view check debug view setting you will see these purple sidebars flickering if XCSS frame generation is working check this setting show detected UI games UI elements will be highlighted pink in color I'll also use XCSS Inspector app to verify the status of XCSS features. Just disable show detected UI setting. Minimize the game. Run Inspector app. 
from this list select Allen Wake 2 double click XCSS frame generation context yeah it's running XLL context low latency mode is on can see the valid frames getting generated all good here back to the game with the older versions of OptiScaler mod enabling XCSS frame generation in this game used to produce some flickering around our character's head flickering was produced even around our gun no flickering is produced with the latest preview 5 build C and I am also not observing any ghosting around the character model the smearing effect is actually an in-game effect it's not a graphical artifact FPS is close to 100 smoothing effect it's consistent can observe the added amount of smoothness games hard elements they are not flickering ignite flare Yeah, character shadow is flickering but it's not due to XCFG this flickering effect is present even without frame generation I'll test the game in another area now I'm in Bright Falls playing as Saga Anderson much better visibility here moving the camera around Saga's head now. it's not flickering right the artifact has been fixed look at that VRAM uses 7.8 GB and this is the game running on medium settings Ok now I will show you how to use OptiScaler FSR frame generation Open OptiScaler mod menu Make sure DLSS G via streamline is selected as the frame generation source Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSR FG as the option and Just disable XCFG Uncheck active setting Click on save and I close You start the game Launch Again make sure that the in-game TLSS frame generation setting is enabled Set it to 2 times Upscaler TLSS Once the game loads up just open OptiScaler menu and check this setting active under Frame generation FSR FG This will enable FSR frame gen Show you FSR frame gen debug view Check debug view setting Displays are working properly for all of the images No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image Only TLSS debug overlay is visible just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details it's going to flicker with mod FSR frame gen enabled color palette is exactly looking the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images smoothing effect of FSR frame gen will work properly disable debug view save and I close yeah here we are getting around 100 fps 105 slightly better performance with FSR frame gen Ok moving the camera around just observe Alan's hand You will notice some ghosting around the hand see This ghosting effect was not produced in the case of XCFG I can see some ghosting even around Alan's head Much better visibility here Close to a light source and now the ghosting effect is noticeable So 10 by 10 when it comes to FSR frame gen smoothing effect but it does produce some noticeable ghosting around the character model In the end it's up to you which frame generation technique you want to use Latency is manageable even with FSR frame gen Base FPS is close to 60 With the flare on you can very easily see the ghosting around Alan's character model before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select it, right click, open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Run this registry file, right click, open. Yes, okay. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.